In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Mech Assault on PC, as well as use the DLC, and also mods. First of all, what you're going to need is a rip of the game, which you can see in this folder with all the map files, as well as the XBE file which is used to launch the game. Next, you're going to want to get the DLC, as well as the desired mod for the game. These can be found in Mech Assault Reborn, as well as in McDonald's, which I'll put the links to those servers in the description below. First off, we're going to be starting off with the mod. For this example, I'll be using a pre-made mod pack, which includes Rebalanced, Multiplayer Enhanced, which comes with extra maps, as well as Grinder Enhanced for more Grinder maps. What you're going to do is get a zip file containing the mod pack and extract it into the folder which contains the rip of the game and just like that the mod has been installed onto your game and now with the DLC the DLC for Mech Assault can be found on digiex.net which was also posted in the Mech Assault Reborn server as I mentioned earlier it can be found down here When it comes to playing Mech Assault on PC, there is one of two emulators you could use. The first one being CXBX, and the other one being Zemu. CXBX is the easier one to use, because all you need is the emulator itself. As for Zemu, what you would need to run the emulator in the first place is a boot ROM image, a BIOS, and an HDD image. For those who are using CXBX, if you have an AMD machine, or a computer with an AMD chipset, you will not be able to run with System Link unless you have a specific build, being that of the May 8th, 2020 build. If you use System Link on an emulator build that is above May 8th, 2020, the emulator will crash immediately. The only caveat to using this build in particular is that the game will crash on occasion. Speaking of System Link, if you are wanting to play System Link using CXBX, then you will need the keys.bin file, which can also be found in the Downloads and Resources channel in the Mech Assault Reborn server. When you acquire keys.bin, you must place it in the app data folder for CXBX, or wherever your root folder is for CXBX. Otherwise, in general, you won't be able to use System Link. Now, before you install the DLC, what you are going to have to do is play the game. First of all, if this is your first time playing the game, and the first file you have is MechWarrior, then you can either make your new file, or just play with MechWarrior. So what you would do, is watch the two cutscenes first, and then play through the mission. And then immediately after launching the mission, the game will already save. So, all you would need to do is just quit the game afterwards. And then, you'll be able to install the DLC afterwards. If you try downloading the DLC without playing Mech Assault first, and creating a new save, then the DLC will be corrupted if you try to install it. After acquiring the DLC from the Mech Assault Reborn server, what you're going to do afterwards is extract it from the RAR file into your desired folder. Now that we've launched a DLC installer from Mech Assault, you are going to see three options. The first one being NTSC, the second one being PAL, and the third one being for the title update for Mech Assault. Now, for some reason, I'm running this on an emulator, so the last two are displayed as blank, so I don't know, it's the fall of the emulator. But anyways, if you live in North America, you will click on NTSC, which will bring you to the DLC. If you live in Europe and Australia, then you click on the second option, which also brings you to the DLC. However, this is the PAL version. Meaning that if you live in an NTSC, then you won't be able to install this unless you want your DLC downloads to be corrupted. 
So if you live in North America, do not click on and install the PAL DLC. And if you live in the PAL regions, do not click on the NTSC regions. As for the third option, you could leave the title update B and play Mech Assault normally. However, if you intend to play Mech Assault online through Insignia or through Excellent Kai, then you'll need to download the title update for Mech Assault. As currently the latest released retail copy of Mech Assault, the Platinum Hits version contains the title update. Meaning that if you have a black label copy for Mech Assault and you do not have the title update installed, you're unable to play Mech Assault with people who have the Platinum Hits copy installed. By pressing the third option in the DLC installer, you are brought to a new menu which you can use to install the title update. And once you are done with that, you can press the second option which brings you back to the Xbox dashboard. Now, when it comes to playing Mechasaw Online, there are one of two programs you could use. The first one being Excellent Kai, and the second one being Insignia. Starting off with Excellent Kai, Excellent Kai is a network tunneling application which you can use to connect your Xbox to other systems via System Link. Rather than bridging multiple systems together through one router in order to play System Link, you can use Xlink Kai to do the same thing but across the internet. Xlink Kai has been mainly used since the shutdown of the original Xbox Live servers. However, Xlink Kai can also be used to play other games on other systems, including non Xbox systems. First, you will need to create an account by clicking on Get Your X Tag which you would type in your username, email address, and the password, as well as selecting your country and your age. After creating your Xlink account, you'll need to download Xlink Kai, click on the executable to install it onto your computer. After launching Xlink Kai, You'll be met with this logon screen of which you type in your username and your password. After logging in, you'll need to click Game Arenas and then click on the console as well as the game you want to play. For this instance, we'll be choosing Mech Assault. After clicking on your Game Arena, you'll want to launch your Xbox or your emulator that you are playing Mech Assault on. And by selecting System Link, you immediately connect your console to Xlink Kai. Insignia is a revival project of the original Xbox Live servers. Currently there are 83 games supported by the time I'm recording this video, and that includes Mech Assault. I will not be going in depth on how to use Insignia, but I will post a link in the description to a video that will show you how to use Insignia. Now we're going to be moving away from CXBX for a little bit and we're going to be looking at Zemu. Zemu is different in that instead of being able to run games through an XBE file, you instead have to run games using an ISO file. This means that if I want to play Mech Assault and I only have the XBE file, that means I won't be able to run the game at all on Zemu. Luckily, there is an application called XDVD Molitor, which lets you convert XBEs to XISOs, and vice versa. If you want to convert an XBE folder to an ISO, you're going to click on Build slash Rebuild an ISO. Click on Next. Then you're going to click on Local Folder, and hit Browse. The folder you're going to be looking for is the folder that contains the game of which you want to build as an ISO. So for this example, I'm going to be looking for my copy of Mech Assault Modded, which is right here. After you find the game that you want to build as an ISO, you click Next. And then you'll be greeted with the screen, which you click on this option. Create standard Xbox One ISO. No XBE checks. After clicking next, you'll be met with this screen over here. What you're going to need to do is press optimize for disk size and then click on quick style double optimization and then hit next and then make ISO. After hitting make ISO, 
the application will bring you to the file explorer of which you can choose which folder you can save the ISO file in. For this example, I'll be saving in my ISO folder. Now, once you converted your XBE folder into an ISO file, you can then launch the game through Zemu. So hit machine over here, and then hit load disk, and then launch your game. If it doesn't load the first time, then you can restart the emulator. Like I've mentioned before, when you start playing the game for the first time, you will need to play through the game first. More specifically through the first mission, if you haven't already, before you launch the DLC installer. If you are on Zemu, or if you are on your original Xbox, and you are wondering how to launch the mod, you can launch the mod through the options menu. For Zemu, if you want to play online through Xlink Kai or Insignia, then you must download an application called NPCAP, which I'll leave the link for in the description. Once you have NPCAP installed, go to Machine, click on Network, and make sure for Attach 2, it says Bridge Adapter, and for Network Interface, make sure it's your preferred network, either Wi Fi or Ethernet and select Enable. One thing I should mention is that Zemu works for Insignia as well, unlike CXBX. In the video that I have linked in the description on how to use Insignia, the video also shows you how to use Insignia on Zemu as well. If you have any more questions about installing MechaSalt as well as the DLC and mods, then you can contact the help channel on the Mechasol Reborn server, or you can contact McDonald's. If you have any issues in regards to X-Link Kai, then you can contact the Xbox Kai fam server through tech supports, or you can contact Team X-Link.